Yeah, uh, we're really excited. Um, pretty special opportunity, you know, to win this for the third year in a row. So, um, yeah, we're excited. It's going to be a tough first challenge, and uh, yeah, really, really looking forward to these matches. Uh, Mike, it feels like well, it, it's a fact that they have a lot of like key players missing. What can you tell us about Jamaica? Have you guys been obviously watching videos, studying them? What, what can we expect? Yeah, um, obviously we've been watching uh, some videos and um, we're, we have to be well prepared, um, whether they're missing players or, or not. Um, we can never be complacent. We have to be ready to, to face a team that's going to fight. They have an opportunity now, you know, in the semifinal to, to win this as well. So um, it's going to be a tough first match and we, we, have to be, uh, we have to be on top of our game. Obviously your focus is to win the game tomorrow, but long term in terms of what you guys are trying to build towards with Copa on the horizon, um, did you narrow down like two or three things that you guys really want to get out of this camp, you really want to fine tune uh, as, you, as you move towards the summer? Yeah, I mean, for us, it's about just thriving and knockout competition, I think, is is key. Um, because when you have these one-off games, which is what we're going to be looking at in, like you said, Copa, in World Cup, um, once we get into that, in that next step, and uh, we have to be... Um, yeah, I think we need to be really strong in those moments and uh, know that one mistake can cost you and we need to punish the other the opponents as well when we get the opportunity. So I think uh, that's just an area where um, that we can improve. Obviously, looking back at the last World Cup, too, um, in those in those knockout, those big games where we need to uh, be clinical and, uh, yeah, you know, play well, I think uh, this is where we're looking to improve here. Anything in terms of final third that you guys really want to improve on? I mean, I'm not going to get incredibly specific but um, I think it's about I mean for us for us it's about being as clinical as we can with our you know in the final third with our final ball with our finishing with our when we get opportunity making sure we don't let up on teams as well and uh, um, if we have the opportunity to finish off games if we have uh, you know we need to be we need to be clinical in those moments let me ask you if everything goes good you will face Mexico on Sunday so let me ask you, what it's like playing in the U.S. with a pro-Mexico crowd? Um, I mean, yeah, I mean, we're not going to look too much into, into that already. We need to win. They need to win um, to get into the final. Um, I mean, we, we've, we've, had a, we've had a lot of tests um, against Mexico over the years, and uh, we enjoy those matches always. Um, uh, it's always... Uh, it's always tough. They, they of course, always draw a great crowd, but you know we've, I think, improved a lot as well with, with our fan base. And uh, yeah, it, it'll be, it'll be a good. You does, know. It, does it feel a, a little bit weird to play in a hostile environment in your own country? No, I, I think, uh, like I said, um, our fan base has improved a lot. Um, I think uh, it doesn't, you know, it doesn't feel, it doesn't feel that way all the time. But I think. Uh, yeah, like I said, they have amazing fans, and it's it's just a good test for us. What's the competition been like in these trainings? Greg said the other day this was maybe the most difficult roster that he has been able to call in. Yeah, I think uh, it's exciting, you know, when you have competition like this. Um, we obviously have guys playing, you know, across the best leagues and the best some of the best teams in the world. Um, and uh, it's just exciting as a program for us to get back together and, and have these battles with each other. Um, so I think it's, uh, it's good problems to have. Have you felt that it's been more competitive? I mean, I, I feel like it's not an incredibly new team that I, you know, I know most of these guys. So um, I think it's always a high level um, and it's only been improving every time. So I would say that. You're obviously in really great form on the pitch in Italy, in Italy right now. How are things going off the field in terms of language, cultural, um, adjustment is that going just as well yeah yeah I'm enjoying it a lot um, it's uh, it's been a good change of pace for me uh, I'm, I'm loving the Italian culture yeah I'm trying to soak it all in I'm doing the best I can learning the language um, so I feel pretty good with all that stuff and uh, yeah I'm just I'm loving it so far so. Are you confident speaking with people yet or, or is that... uh, yeah I mean I understand about everything um, you know they asked me if I could do my interview in Italian um, the other day and I was like yeah you can ask the questions I'll, I'll answer in English but next time so I'm, I'm getting close but you know, I'm still 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 not fluent at all uh, yeah I'm excited to play uh, at this stadium and we never I never been uh, never been there before so uh, I'm excited I haven't been to Dallas in a long time um, 
I don't know. Yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be sick. I mean, I've only heard amazing things about the, about this place, so um, I think it'll be a really good atmosphere, and hopefully there'll be a good crowd. It's uh, I'm excited. Sorry for such a genuine question, but what's it like wearing those colors and representing Yeah, I mean, for me, you know, I've I've been so honored to be able to do this for a few years, but it never gets old. I mean, um, representing the USA, doing what I love, um, it's it's a it's a blessing. So.